Hey, what's up? It's Ryan. Uh, tutorial time. This one was actually kind of requested. Um, so I'm basic. I'm going to try and do this one as short as possible. Just going to show you how to save and load presets uh, when you're using plugins in Pro Tools. I'll show you a wave plugin and I'll show you a non wave plugin, one of these air plugins. I believe these come shipped with Pro Tools 8 and above. I don't, I don't have 9. I assume they come with 9. I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, again, in the interest of making this quick, you have a track, let's say you have plenty of voice or instrumentation on there and you want to start affecting it, you come up with this uh, great EQ, I was already toying around here, so we've got this great EQ, woohoo, look at this, we popped up the right frequencies and we're doing all the great stuff, we're going to roll off the, the uh, high end a little bit there, whatever, alright, great, it's saved, I mean that's how we want it, it's not saved yet though. So what you want to do is very simple, uh, with these waves plugs, you hit the save button, but don't do save the new file. You can, but that doesn't make it easy, uh, because that will save it as a file in your uh, in your in your plugin directory, and then you would have to load an open preset file. Instead, you want to do save, put into preset menu as. Uh, like I said, I was already screwing around, so we'll just have uh, Ryan test two. Uh, in theory, when you're actually saving your presets, you want you're going to want to give them much better names. You know, descriptions of. You know, maybe you're, you're putting an EQ on a VO, give it that voice talent's name, uh, maybe the, the type, maybe you're doing a lot of low-end roll-off, um, and then also uh, date it, I would say. Because um, for me, even though I'll show you in a second, it'll put them in order, I would date them because I remember like three years ago I was working with Jude Corbett's voice. And I, I, I did a lot, a lot more, uh, you know, crunchy high-end, and I rolled off more low-end, and it just sounded perfect. Well, I, I remember it was a long time ago, so dating them is going to help me to know it. It's not one from like January of 11. It's one from January of 09. All right, anyway, we'll hit OK. Now, basically, you see that that is saved. And the reason you know that this these settings are the current version of this, there's no star there. I'll show you what happens. Once you screw with it, you'll see that star pop up. That means it, it has been edited. But anyway, to get back to what we just saved, simply go to load. It'll be at the bottom. Uh, so this is the most recent plugin setting I saved. It's also Ryan Test 2, which is what we just did. And you'll see everything went back to normal. Uh, just so you know, I have tons of settings in here. Some that I got from Eric Chase, the great radio imaging and, well, just producer in general. I uh, got these quite a while ago. And I know that because they're up at the top of my settings list. Um, and then I've saved my own presets since then. And this isn't the only EQ I use, but these presets are all REQ presets. They're not um, like the Q10 or uh, whatever EQs you're using. They're REQ, they're presets that I saved in REQ. Anyway, they go in order. This is the most recent on up. And there you go. So there's uh, how to lo uh, save and load uh, presets using a Waves plugin. So one major thing that you'll notice now. In fact, I'm going to remove this just so it's clean. We're going to put in uh, an, an air phaser. Uh, this is a stereo track. I've got a phaser, so you know you got some music on this track, and you want to give it that cool phasey sound for a little bit. Um, you know, that's another tutorial to show you how to bring in plug-in effects for only portions of the track. But anyway, this one you'll notice the bar that says load and save is not there. You're going to be doing it a different way, and this this way you can actually do with any plugin in Pro Tools. But like I said before, that there's reasons why I use the uh, plugin settings uh, inside the Waves plug versus just using the digit or the, uh, the the Pro Tools, uh, you know, setting the the regular setting for Pro Tools, whatever the word is I'm supposed to say there. Okay, preset. Couple different options here. Obviously, you just want to save the setting as. And it will save it like its own file. I'm just calling it test three for now. But this is where you're going to pull them up. So again, this one's kind of doing both jobs. It's saving it as its own um, preset, its own individual preset file that I can then drag over to a thumb drive, bring to another computer with Pro Tools and, and this plugin loaded, and then boom, pop up my setting right there. And you can, in fact, copy the entire folder. You can copy all your presets. Anyway, this one happens to come with a bunch of preloaded factory presets. They're all in order right there, and they're numbered. If I were to have numbered this one 01 test, it would have dropped in right there. Uh, so again, I like to have them in order of, of when I actually set them. 
but there it is. So we'll bring up a different one and then just watch the settings. You'll see it go back to what I just did, which is actually just pretty much flat in this plugin. So that's how you do it there. Remember, preset, save settings as. And again, you can also import settings. So if you dragged in a bunch of your buddy's presets, you got uh, your buddy John, you save John1234, you can drag, I mean, you can, sorry, one at a time, and you can open it right there in the, uh, in the plugin. But we don't need to do that right now. All you need to know is preset, save settings as, and it'll exist right here for you.